So I love that gas is 269 a gallon now. Thanks there, Joe. Thanks a lot, buddy. Boy, you're stellar, man. You're just stellar. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Um, going on a little uh, sled retrieval mission today. I got to run up to my mom's house. It's about an hour and 15 minutes away. Um, I got a, an old uh, EXT up there um, that I am selling today. So I got to run up there and get it bring it back down here to the cities and drop it off so that way I can be done with that um, but today uh, I want to talk about something and it really sucks because I um, I mean I've obviously y'all know that I'm, I mean I'm a, I'm a cat guy all the way you know but I gotta tell you, um, after the big event yesterday, or the day before, whatever you wanna call it, they should have, what they should have called it was the big disappointment, is what they should have called it. Um, I, I really don't know what what Cat is thinking or, or, or what, but I mean, By far, hands down, the ZR model is their top seller. It's not even close, actually. Um, they actually did a survey on it, Cat did, and it's like, it came back with like 40.4% 40, 40 of, of their market share of their sales is ZR models. And 6.8% is blast models. Now, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to, you know, figure that out. I mean, where are you going to put your focus? You would sure think on, you know, the 40 point, you know, 8% or whatever it is uh, model of your sales. But nope, not, not cat though. They, they just keep pounding away at this blast like it's going to save everything, save the day, whatever. A mid-sized snowmobile, and now now there's a two-up version. Who who in their right mind is going to ride two people on a mid-sized snowmobile? Like, why would you even do that? And last time I checked, I'm, I'm going to say, not all, but I'm going to say majority of blast owners are more novice riders. I mean, they're, they're, they're not, you know, they haven't, it's more than likely not someone who's been riding for years and years and years. So with that being said, obviously they're not gonna have a passenger on there. Like I, I don't, I don't understand that. I don't get it. Uh, and they just complete, they didn't touch the ZR lineup. They didn't do anything. And I just, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked. I can't believe it. I mean, Claris and Skidoo are literally leaving Cat in the dust. It's not even close. They've, they've introduced two new chassis and Cat is still riding the same chassis, the Pro chassis, with an 800. Like, what, what are we doing here? You, there's you, you, there's no innovation. There's no nothing new. Big whoopee ding. Power steering on the Thundercat. How many, how many people own Thundercats? N not many at all. So again, you, it's like they're they're obsessed and they're they're just dead set on on catering to the smallest group of 
of their of their sales. I, I don't of their customer base. Like I, I don't understand. If, if if one of you has some light to shed on this, please by all means in the comments below say something. If I'm missing something or 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 or, or whatever, you know, I, I, please somebody by all means correct me. But I, I don't think I am. Um, I really don't. And. I really, really was excited for yesterday, or, or I'm sorry, on the third, for the, the 22 lineup. I thought for sure it's 60th anniversary, you know, uh, they're well overdue. I thought for sure we were going to see a completely new ZR, new chassis, 850. I really did. And... And not only didn't we see that, we didn't we didn't see anything. Like I mean, it it was a, it's just a it's just a, a, another year of the same stuff, you know. And I don't get that, man. I don't I don't understand it. Um, it doesn't take a genius to 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 know like you guys didn't, you know, you, you didn't created no excitement none none whatsoever and uh, that's really disappointing I mean that that could very well do it right there I mean I gotta tell you uh, I'm gonna ride my sled another year another season and then I'm gonna I'm I'm going to Polaris as of right now um, as much as I hate to say that I really 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 hate to say that uh, big time like I that's the last thing I want to do uh, but I can't I can't do a do skidoo because they're they're I'm sorry but they're ass ugly I mean they're just they're so ugly like I, I don't know like I can't I don't see it at all um, not even kind of like uh, Skidoo needs to fix that real quick. I mean, quality wise, they're second to none, but cosmetically, they're terrible. Uh, I mean, I don't know what they're thinking there, but nonetheless, um, you know, and, and cosmetically, I, I, I love the look of my sled and, and the cats. I mean, you don't have to be a cat fan, but you got to admit, I mean, they're. They're, they're cosmetically, you know, probably the best looking sleds on the snow, if you ask me. But that doesn't, you know, uh, cover up the fact that they're behind the curve. I mean, big time when it comes to technology or, or innovation or, um, you know options and such like that you know they, they really are and and that's really 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 disappointing I, I i i just can't tell you how much i was expecting i was really thinking you know we were going to see some cool stuff i really did hold on one second here hold on so i love that gas is 269 a gallon now thanks there joe thanks a lot buddy boy you're stellar man you're just stellar Trump's in office, gas is below two bucks a gallon for the first time and couldn't even tell you how long. Biden's been in there for, you know, a month and a half and here we are at 269 gas. It's just stupid. But anyways, back to what we were talking about. Um, I, I don't know. I, I just hope, I don't know. I, 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 I don't really see... I, I don't really see it. I don't. I don't see if if. I sure hope Cat ha, has something up their sleeve that they're going to drop here unexpectedly. Because if they don't, if they don't before next you know year, that might very well be the end of Cat right there. Because I mean people are not happy I mean when you look out in the community people are not happy one second again people are pissed off disappointed uh, you know you the, the whole the whole nine I mean it's like 
I, I just, I still, I'm still in shock, to be honest with you. I, I truly thought we were going to see a whole new ZR. I really did. I, I, with an 850, new chassis. I mean, and, and what, what better, you know, opportunity and moment to drop that than on your 60th anniversary. Instead, you go and introduce two more, I think it was, two more blast models. I mean, come on, enough is enough. Here, let's just call it what it is. That blast is the ugliest thing. I, it might as well have skidoo on it. I mean, it's. I'm sorry. You, you, I understand what you're getting at and what you're going for there. I mean, you're targeting that transition time, you know, from from like a you know a, a little kid snowmobile like a 120 or 200, you know, to up to a full size sled. But here's the problem: nine thousand dollars, really, cat? Nine thousand dollars for a single cylinder, for a single cylinder, 400 cc kid sled that some novice adults can ride to you know novice riders i mean it's it's unbelievable it really is i, I, I just it nine thousand dollars nine thousand eighty six fifty or whatever the hell it is so after tax and everything, you're well, you're well over nine thousand dollars for a mid-size snowmobile. That that's that's absurd. That's more absurd than the fifteen thousand dollar price tags on the on the on the full size ones. You know, I mean, I don't know. It wasn't that long ago where. Sleds, brand new sled, seven, eight grand, you know, roughly. You know, th th this is just stupid. This is ridiculous. There's a reason why, Cat, that the other manufacturers are not focusing on that. You know, yeah, Polaris has that, uh, the uh, Evo, but they're not focused on it. Yeah, they built it, they're, it's in production, but. Cat, all you hear about is that stupid blast, and and nobody cares about that thing. I'm sorry, I I I, I don't mean to to be the bearer of bad news, cat, but man, I mean, how how do you guys not see that? Like, I don't understand it. And and so that you know that really can only leads me to believe that they 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 just don't have. The engineers to come up with something new. I mean, that's the only explanation. I can't think of anything else, or they're intentionally trying to, you know, to run run themselves out of business. I don't know. I don't know what else it would be because you know you've been riding this pro chassis for what? How many years now? Five or something? Six? Something like that. I don't. I don't know exactly, but don't quote me on that. But you got you got Skidoo and Players that have dropped two new chassis, and you're still on the same one. Like again, if anyone has any light to shed on that, please, by all means, uh, I, I want to hear it. Like, am I, if I'm missing something, tell me. I mean, they didn't change really anything. Same gauge cluster, you know, they, the Riot, yeah, okay, so they read it. So you redesign a sled that you just came out with a year ago or two years ago. That one gets redesigned because the new, that new Riot, it did look like it had some different, it did look a little different, but. I just, I, I'm, I'm, I'm just beside myself, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. I, I, I definitely want some feedback, though. Um, you know, your guys' thoughts and and all that. And, and, and am I the only one that's that if something doesn't change um, by the end of you know next uh, season, I, I'm 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 gonna have to jump ship. I'm gonna have to jump ship. 
because I'll be honest with you, I don't know, I don't know how much longer they're going to be here. If, if, if you know, doing some doing some stuff like this, I mean, this, I, I just can't believe it. nobody in the higher ups there when they were sitting in their conference room discussing the lineup and everything and what it's going to be and not be. Nobody said, hey, 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 um, uh, we should probably, you know, we got to do something here, you know, we got to do something. But apparently not, I guess. Like, I, I guess not. It's, it's mind-bending to me. I, I don't, it's absolutely crazy to me. I, it is, it really is. I, I, I've been thinking about it since I watched it, uh, the, the big event, and I'm going, this is a joke. Like, this must be a joke. They're going to like, ha ha, gotcha, you know, just kidding. You know, here's, you know, whatever. Nope, nope, that was it. And uh, I just, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. I mean, that, that might have been the biggest and most disappointing lineup Ever. Ever. You guys did, you changed nothing. I, I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore. I don't know. I mean, you know, you've been trying to cover for Cat, you know, for how long now? And it's like, just hold on. They're, they got something up their sleeve. They got something up their sleeve. This is going to be the year. This is going to be the year. And not only isn't it the year, I mean, it's not even, they, they, they gave no reason whatsoever to buy a 2022. There is not a single reason. Because if they think this power steering deal is a reason to go out and drop, what? What's a, what's a new Thundercat, 17 grand or something like that? Highly mistaken. I mean, uh, I'm just uh, disappointed. Is is uh, really an understatement? It really is. I mean, I, but I just wanted to make a quick video on that and, and kind of get your guys' thoughts and feelings and and. Uh, see where you're at with it I mean are, are, are you gonna are you gonna get a 2022 you know um, I mean I, I everyone that I know uh, that is in the scene there I, I don't know of anyone that's going to uh, it just really sucks it really does because I, I you know I don't want to go to a different sled. I don't want to do that. It's, that's not what I want to do. And, you know, Cat has left no choice. I mean, because, I mean, I don't see... If, if you didn't drop something this year on your 60th anniversary, well, you, you damn straight ain't going to drop anything in 2023. So, so is this it then? Like, you're just going to ride this out, Cat? You're not going to do... I mean, I, I can't... I'm, I'm shocked. I can't believe it. I mean, there is not a doubt in my mind. You know, I'm tired of saying, well, you know, they're going to have to do something next year for sure then. No, this was the year. This this was the time. This was this was your opportunity, Kat, to, to, to come screaming back and, and, and you just blew it. I mean, you blew it, and you blew it bad. Not just like, kind of. I mean, you you 100% across the board blew it, and I I'm, I can't believe it. But all right, guys. Well, that uh, that's all I got for that. Um, I ran and raved enough about that. Uh, like I said, give me your thoughts, comments, everything uh, down below there. Smash that like button. Stomp on the subscribe button a couple of times. Hit the bell. You know all the, you know the drill. Um, and uh, again, I want to thank everyone for you know 
the, it's we're, we're getting there we're getting there we just got to keep keep the subscriptions coming in we're almost there so just um, share share the videos uh, keep watching them and uh, I'll keep them coming thanks a lot guys have a great day